Welcome. My name is Kelly. I am the owner of Dog Kind. I specialize in very fearful, feral dogs, puppy mill rescues, that kind of thing. And today we're going to talk about how to help your dog feel more comfortable away from home. I know many of you have dogs who are, they might not even be comfortable at home, or maybe they're comfortable at home, but anywhere outside your house is scary to them. And so we'll talk about at least one strategy to help them make that transition and be more comfortable away from home. Mobile safe spaces, helping your dog feel safe away from home. Who is this for? This is for you if your dog is pretty comfortable at home, but not away from home, and you'd like some kind of portable safe space you can bring with you to help facilitate your dog's comfort when you're not at home. What is a safe space? We've talked about this before. Usually I'm talking about safe spaces in your home. A safe space is an area that is physically blocked off or delineated in some way physically. It's only for the dog's use. So other people shouldn't intrude into that space. Other pets shouldn't enter that space. And it provides a hiding and resting place for the dog. And when we're talking about safe spaces in your home, a lot of times a very fearful dog, that might be where they are living until they acclimate to your home. Why safe spaces? Fearful dogs are often scared to move around, and this applies to at home or out in the world. A safe space allows your dog to have all their needs for that moment met in a smaller area. If you're talking about a home safe space, that might include everything from food, water, uh, potty area, toys. Uh, if we're talking about a mobile safe space, you might not have quite as many items in there. It'll be smaller, and the time in the mobile safe space will generally be shorter but you'll still want to make sure they have everything they need for whatever period that they're going to be in that safe space. A safe space provides a smaller area for you to have to sort of shield from scary stuff. In other words, if you're putting up visual barriers or ways to block your dog from the line of sight of people or other animals, it's a lot easier to do that when you're working with a small area. Having a safe space can prevent a dog from venturing somewhere that they're really not comfortable being and then prevent them from getting stuck there. And those of you who have dogs who might wander into a part of your house they're not comfortable with and then be afraid to go back to their safe space or who get stuck on walks perhaps or when out in the world, you know what I'm talking about. This helps sort of keep them in their safe little bubble while still um, being able to experience some of the world. Both a mobile safe space and an in-home safe space is good for keeping people and other animals away from your dog so that they have the dog has their personal space. The most important thing here is that it's a predictably safe place from which your dog can start to explore the world, whether it be the world inside your home or outside your home. A mobile safe space then is everything we just talked about, but it's a location that you can take with you that is physically blocked off or delineated only for the dog's use, a hiding and resting place. And it provides a nice, comfortable, safe spot for your dog to start to observe the outside world without being so exposed and feeling afraid. Why might you consider a mobile safe space? Here are some scenarios that I think they'd be helpful for. If your dog is afraid pretty much everywhere except for inside your home or maybe on your property, then a mobile safe space can be a bridge between those two in your training. I know some of you get stuck in a situation where your dog is okay at home, but as soon as you step out the door, anything outside of the house is not okay. And this is a way to have sort of an in-between step for them. This can also be helpful if you want to work with your dog in quieter outdoor areas first, but you live in an area that is not quiet. This is commonly the case if you live in an apartment building, and for instance, your dog would have to walk into a hallway and maybe downstairs or in an elevator before getting outside. A mobile safe space can be helpful for that. Or if you live in a busy neighborhood and you'd like to get your dog to a less busy area, but you can't avoid at least some exposure to your immediate neighborhood on the way there. If you happen to be someone who needs to travel and take your dog different places, maybe on vacation, on road trips, a mobile safe space can be very helpful for those situations. Something familiar and safe that travels with your dog. So what am I talking about? What could be a mobile safe space for your dog? A crate can serve as a mobile safe space. It's not something that can move that easily, but you can definitely pack it, you know, bring it with you in the car somewhere. 
A backpack or sling for smaller dogs who you can carry can be a good mobile safe space. A stroller or bike trailer are both the kind of safe spaces that you can actually move, roll down the street. And even your car, if your dog is really comfortable in your car, that can serve as a safe space that can travel. How do you train your dog to be comfortable in a mobile safe space? I already have a few blogs and videos that go into some of the training involved in helping a dog becoming comfortable in say a backpack or a car seat for the car. And I will link those below this recording, but you'll start by picking your option for a mobile safe space as much as possible according to your dog's preferences. How do they get in? Like how much work is it to get into the thing? And can they do it on their own or do you have to handle them? A lot of dogs are not gonna be very tolerant of you if you're uh, picking them up and putting them into something. So how can they get in? How much space do they have inside the mobile safe space? How enclosed is it? For instance, the bike trailer in this photo looks like the sides might be solid or maybe mostly solid with a little bit of mesh window like the front. Some dogs really like that solid sided aspect, like they're more enclosed and some dogs do not. So it'll depend on your dog's preferences, what kind of fabrics or surfaces are involved. Um, you can include your dog's favorite things, their t favorite toys and snacks in the safe space. And then here is where most people make a mistake and then get stuck. You really have to train this a ton at home to the point that your dog loves this mobile safe space before you ever attempt to use it anywhere else. If your dog is just kind of so-so about the safe space or even worse, is slightly uncomfortable about it, especially say if it's moving, something like a bike trailer that rolls like in the photo here, then It'll just serve to add another stressor to the stressful situation when you try to use the mobile safe space out in the world. In addition to the kind of training you might do to help your dog relax in an at-home safe space, you have extra training for a mobile safe space. Uh, as I mentioned, the loading up and getting out of the safe space is something you'll have to train. And also movement, whether it be picking up a carrier, there's that's a lot of jostling and then being carried uh, for a lot of dogs is kind of scary unless you gradually train it or like in the example in the photo if you're going to be rolling your dog in a stroller or a bike trailer or something you'll have to gradually introduce movement and you'll have to do this at home before you take it on the road once your dog is in love with their mobile safe space at home then you can gradually start moving it into new locations. And it's important you know what you're looking for throughout your training, both at home and as you move away from home. What behaviors do you want to reinforce? Might be something like lie down, work on a food toy, work on a chew. And what behaviors would alert you to your dog not being totally comfortable? Heavy panting, you know, ears pinned, um, not unable to lie down, continually getting up. Um, those are some things you might want to watch for. A few real life examples from my little guy Pancake. He has several <laughs> mobile safe spaces, uh, which I found very helpful for his training. He has a crate. He actually has multiple crates. He has a couple backpacks and a sling I've also used that goes over one shoulder. I trained him to ride in a bike trailer that I actually used it more as a stroller. It's converted to a stroller. Um, and also his car seat as part of his car training. And you can see that's what he's kind of snuggled up in in the photo to the left. Uh, so just a few photo examples. Here he is snoozing in his crate. There he is in one of his backpacks. The first safe space that I took on the road for him was this pack. And a couple things I looked for that you can see sort of in the photo is that the whole side unzips so he could just walk into it. I didn't have to manhandle him into the pack. So there he is enjoying that on his hike. Here's his other backpack, which is better for colder weather. Here's an example with him in his bike trailer that was converted to a stroller. Um, and this is one that also works for larger dogs. You'll see that I have some blankets and things clipped to the sides to cover the windows. For him, it was better to have limited sight out of the <laughs> trailer. So if you would like to have a mobile safe space for your dog, here are your action steps. Choose one or more safe space options to try at home. And I recommend aiming for a safe space that your dog can get in 
to and out of on their own easily, if possible, that can um, remove a huge barrier to conditioning one of these mobile safe spaces to be something your dog loves. If they, if your dog sees the safe space and that predicts you, you know, picking them up and doing something they don't like in terms of handling, it's going to be really hard to to get them to to like that safe space and feel like it is in fact safe for them. Once you've chosen your safe space option or options, train at home until your dog absolutely loves the safe space. And then you'll be ready to extend your training to other situations. I hope this helped and do stick around if you're here live for some Q&A. Don't forget to get your free guide caring for your fearful dog at the link below, dogkindtraining.com care.